Thank you very much. Welcome back, by the way. Hope you had a great trip. Um, hmm. So, you know, it's funny because you know, most of the time we, we have these conversations in the morning and, and usually what I'm talking about are things that, that I'm struggling with and, and, uh, and I'm kind of watching some things go, going on um, in the world right now. And, and what's on my head, what's on my heart is don't sweat the small stuff. Um, and I love the book. And for those of you that haven't read the book, you should. But but seriously, I, I think that the truth of the matter is, is when we get into the heat of battle, like, you know, really in it, uh, you know, how many of us can just suddenly go, oh, you know, no problem. You know, don't sweat the small stuff. It doesn't really work that way. Uh, it's usually a cascading effect uh, that, that happens. And, you know, like the alarm doesn't work or maybe I hit snooze one too many times. Right. There's no hot water left or you know i've got five people one of them's a teenager that thinks that water grows on trees uh you know you're out of i'm going to say underwear but it clothes like my 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 15 year old now all of my clothes end up in his drawers and so you know like they all of a sudden they start to cascade all of a sudden we're low on milk or somebody forgets the homework or somebody misses the bus or you know god forbid that uh you know uh, the, the two little ones are you know when they wake up they fighting one minute and laughing and then fighting and then laughing again. And, you know, that's all in the first five minutes, um, you know, it just starts to build on each other. Uh, and, you know, it's funny as I'm saying this, I can feel my blood pressure going up right now, but uh, you, you know, the truth, the truth is that life is just, it, life's loud. It's messy. It's chaotic. It just is what it is. Uh, when we're talking about family, uh, you know, that's the same thing times five, 10, 15, like it's an exponential. It, it just, it's just loud. Um, and if, and if you want to live in relative peace and quiet, I'm convinced that I think the only way to do it is to live alone in a cave someplace. And I'm not sure that that's necessarily the definition of peace. Um, the truth is my, my house, my house is loud. Uh, there are five really big personalities and a dog that live there. Yeah. Uh, and, and some of them are louder than others. Uh, what I've what I've learned, and most of my learning comes from failure. You can just ask anybody. I'm kind of stubborn, and I learn things the hard way. Uh, it, it is that life, as as we know it, the the life. Well, like we just have small stuff and big stuff, right? And and the truth is that when we, well, I might put it this way. I think what we want to do is we want to make sure that there's gas left in the tank for the big stuff. That makes sense um, that we have like these these bank accounts and they, and they have emotional dollars built into them and that we want to make sure that there are enough dollars left over at the end of the day that we can deal with the really really big things and instead many of us we, we struggle and we sweat the little challenges that really aren't that big of a deal at the end of the day or at the end of the month or at the end of the year and we're cashing in all of those credits. We're, we're, we're not, we're, we're coming up empty. And, and when we are faced with a really big challenge, and I'm looking at the people on this call right now, and I can see some people that have faced some pretty significant challenges. Uh, and, and we want to make sure that we got enough gunpowder in the, in the bank and in, in the account uh, so that we're not out of steam, that we're not exhausted or worse, right? Uh, that we become numb or the people around us become numb. So how do we change it? Literally, it happens in an absolute minute right now. It's, it's a complete like, boom, mind shift, mindset shift. Ready? The only thing you need to do is lean into God. I'm going to say that again. The only thing you need to do is lean into your higher power. Ask to see what's great in life. There's a lot. Ask to see what's great in your people. There's a lot. Le learn to laugh at the, I'll call it the individualness of your tribe, right? Oftentimes we see those things and those are the things that annoy the crap out of you. But the truth is, it's what makes them them. It's what makes them so special. Appreciate the energy in the house. I've got to the point now where I go travel to another office and I'm in a hotel room and it's quiet and it's deafening. I love the sounds. Smile more. Smile. It's just really hard to be irritated when you're smiling. Be grateful. 
and, and choose to see it differently. Just see it. Tell the people around you, appreciate them, look at them with this, with the loving heart, the appreciative heart, make deposits into these accounts. Speak softly when everybody else is screaming and ask questions. It will literally change your life. More importantly, maybe it, it changes the life of the people around you because nobody wants to walk around on eggshells. I'm going to say that again. Nobody wants to be around somebody that they have to walk on eggshells waiting for the other shoe to drop. That sucks. Waiting for like one thing that's going to send you over the edge. Nobody wants to do that. Frankly, it's exhausting. It's straight up exhausting. It creates tension. It's bad for your health. It's bad for your psychology. It's bad for your, it's bad for everything. It creates distrust and worry. It just sucks as a way, way to live. In life, we will have trouble. I wish I knew the verse right now, but, but it's in the Bible, y'all. It says, you will have trouble. And I'm pretty sure he wasn't talking about running low on milk, right? I'm pretty sure he wasn't talking about your kids not getting to their chores today. So love the life that you have. Love the people in your life. There will be a time when your kids will do something really bad really egregious and you're going to need some extra dollars emotional dollars in the bank account so make, make sure you have plenty of fuel in the tank make sure that you have plenty of credits in the account don't sweat the small stuff learn to enjoy your today build rapport and trust with those around you today so that it's there for you tomorrow Make sure that you preserve that strength for the things that really matter in life, the ones that really matter. I hope that helps. As always.